Chris Harrison and Lauren Zima are denying marriage claims. Hey guys, and welcome back to another shared news from home. We have to talk about the latest on Chris Harrison, but before we get into it, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. As always, I am your host, Mariah Davis, and I am joined by the lovely Fiona Zaring. Fiona, you and I have talked about Chris Harrison in the past. Most recently has not been, obviously, the most lighthearted of conversations, but today definitely is, rest assured. Uh, recently, Chris Harrison absolutely shook his followers with his latest Instagram post that looks like a wedding photo. I mean, it is very deceiving because he's wearing a tux, Lauren is in a floor-length gown, and because the photo is black and white, it makes the dress she wore look like a traditional wedding gown. So despite the caption that reads, quote, I'd stop the world and melt with you at Lauren Zima, there's no one I'd rather celebrate love with, and I'll be your plus one anytime. Okay, based on their attire and the black and white filter of the photo, it made Lauren's dress look white. So sure, I have to admit, I at first glance was like, wait, what? Like he got married and none of us even knew he was engaged. But after reading the caption, I realized, you know, it's obviously not a marriage photo. I feel like if you're saying you're celebrating love and that you are a plus one is a clear indicator that they were wedding guests. What do you think? Why do you think so many people just like ignored the caption? Maybe they didn't even read it at all before they started congratulating them. You know, I don't know. It's so funny. So I had the same initial reaction as so many people. I saw the photo and I went, oh my God, wow. Like Chris has been laying low. Lauren's been kind of been laying low. All of a sudden they're married. This is crazy. And then I immediately turned to the caption expecting some sappy like surprise, you know, like it's been a weird year. Like, I don't know. Lauren's my rock. I'm so happy to make her my wife. Some big, you know, profession of love. And it just wasn't that, right? So right off the bat, I was like, okay, that's not how someone like Chris Harrison, who talks about love literally for a living, would announce to the world he's married. And I'm so with you. Once you dive a little deeper, the plus one of it all, like it is kind of leaning towards being wedding guests. I do think that a lot of people probably did not read that. And I also think that if you are kind of looking at the photo and looking at the caption, you can maybe be like, okay, this is a weird way of saying that they're going to be like each other's plus ones for life or something. It certainly was one of those classic like Instagram mix ups. People aren't fully paying attention, but it looks like a wedding photo. I cannot believe he didn't realize with that filter that it looked like a wedding photo. Right. Either people disregarded the caption entirely or they just misunderstood it. Many of those people still made the assumption that the two tied the knot and issued a congratulations. So once Chris and Lauren noticed that everyone was just assuming they had become married, they both clarified that they were just attending a wedding and made light of the situation with somewhat funny responses. Lauren commented, quote, love you so much and appreciate all the congrats. This bridesmaid's dress is really living above its potential. And Chris also made a comment, quote, wow, you attend one wedding together, do one chicken dance, and you're hitched. Congrats, Christine and Kevin, on a beautiful wedding and the start of a wonderful life together. And then he finished with the sweet mention, I do love this bridesmaid, though. I love that in addressing this, they both used a little humor, shutting down the misconception. Chris and Lauren have been together since 2018, so... I'm sure marriage isn't completely out of the question. And now there's all this conversation surrounding their relationship. So I got to ask you, do you think they'll be next to tie the knot? I mean, can we see this happening for them? Oh my God, absolutely. I have to say one of the things that I like had to sort of go through in my head after this photo came out, after the frenzy, you know, all of that was, I think the part of me honestly thought that they were married, right? They have been a solid couple for a long time. We obviously know Chris through everything he's done in Bachelor Nation for so many years. And Lauren is certainly a very familiar face to the franchise. She's been covering it for years. She has her Roses and Rosé show that people absolutely love. She is like a Bachelor Nation stan herself. So I think that the two of them and their dynamic, him hosting The Bachelor, her covering The Bachelor, their sweet relationship, 
has been something that fans absolutely are rooting for. I would love to see them tie the knot. Obviously, listen, Chris may not be a contestant in the Bachelor franchise, but we're always just rooting for anyone in Bachelor Nation to find love, to find the one. So I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if they certainly in the near future decide that the moment might be right for them. Clearly, they know all of their fans are rooting for it at this point. So it'll be interesting to see, uh, you know, when they decide to take that leap. Exactly. You had touched on this, kind of how they met. Uh, but for those of you who don't know, Harrison was a reoccurring guest on Entertainment Tonight's Bachelor segments, which Lauren Zima is a correspondent for, again, for those who don't know. And basically, long story short, one thing led to another and the two started dating. In an interview with People, Chris said, quote, we started dating and like any relationship, she made me happy. She was kind, nice, we got along. She blended in great with my friends and just all those steps in the relationship where you start checking the boxes off and it gets better and better. I love hearing about celebrities coming together, like the stories in which they met and how they connected, especially those who work in entertainment news or hosting, because I feel like a lot of the times they meet their significant other through work. If you are a host or a correspondent and you're interviewing somebody, you could happen to form a connection. And in this case, that's kind of what it sounds like. Based on how he described their relationship, I can definitely hear bells ringing for them in the future. I mean, like you said, we definitely see it's a possibility for them. Yeah, absolutely. Because here's the thing, like Chris and Lauren, they're not young, right? They're not in their early 20s, like not sure what they want. You know, we talk about like Katie, right? Our next bachelorette, she just turned 30. She knows what she wants. She has it figured out. They definitely fall into that category too, right? They know what they want. It sounds like they took their relationship one step at a time, checked all the boxes as they went. They definitely both have crazy schedules and very demanding jobs, and they've been able to navigate that. At the end of the day, you could have had a conflict of interest there, right? Because she covers what he does, and they've been able to navigate that. So to me, it feels like they have a really, really solid foundation. They both are really in this for the long haul. I mean, let's face it, Obviously, you know, we're not talking about all of the crazy Chris controversy today, but it's there, right? It's been definitely a headache of a year for him. He's going on a personal journey. He's committed to doing the work that he says he's going to be doing. And Lauren has been by his side through all of that. And I just do think that that shows they have a very strong bond. And with all of the crazy things going on in the world around us right now, I think these are the moments where you start to look at your rock, you know, your significant other and just say, huh, like, you're really great. Like, where are we going from here? So I definitely am rooting for them. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a wedding, you know, in the near future, but everybody moves at their pace. I think two people who talk about people finding love for a living might be, you know, the type to take it slow, just step back and really go at their own speed. So who knows? Only time will tell, but I'm very excited for the both of them regardless. Obviously, we don't know what the future holds as far as who is going to uphold that permanent hosting position with the Bachelor franchise. Obviously, we don't know what's going to happen with Chris Harrison's return to Bachelor, but we do hope that we'll see him return then maybe this year's Bachelor in Paradise. And of course, we're always looking forward for Lauren Zima's Bachelor coverage on Entertainment Tonight. That's everything we have to share with you for now, but of course we want to hear from you guys. Do you guys see a potential marriage for Chris and Lauren? Are we going to celebrate their wedding on Bachelor in Paradise? I don't know. Let us know down in the comments. And before you go, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. As always, I'm your host, Mariah Davis, and today I was joined by the one and only Fiona Zaring. You can follow us on our social channels listed on the screen right now. We hope you guys have an incredible rest of your week, and we will see you next time. Bye.